Heart Sutra all the time. In the three worlds, all Buddhas yeah. depend on. So in the three worlds. The three worlds you hear it. Samze. Chibang Samze. Samze, three worlds, is always referred to. And it just means this is an insight into reality. This is all of the stuff we chant, all the stuff we do, all the stuff we hear, all the stuff we practice is insight into reality. But reality has different dimensions. It's not just one single unitary dimension. It's like a film. It has a, a, it has a, 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 it has a visual track and it has a sound track over it that's part of it. You can take it off. You can examine the sound as itself and you can examine the film. And what would be another track on a film? Overlay. The, the overlay or the, the graphics. The, the, Maybe the, the graphics, the, 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 the subtitles. Yeah. So every film, we see a unitary film. When we look at a movie, we look at a unitary thing. That's him talking, moving, shooting, running, whatever. So there's the action, but on that, there's another track that tracks perfectly and that represents that. And then there's the subtitles, so there's three tracks. So it's seen as one, but there's three different... So in the Buddha's enlightenment, one of the things he saw was that we exist in... Reality can be, if you take the film of reality and you kind of look at it in meditation very deeply, it tracks off into three tracks that are simultaneous and yet can be experienced and investigated separately. And they are the three worlds, it's called, but they're not worlds like a globe or another place. The three dimensions is sometimes the three worlds of the form, the world of form, our, there's a part of our consciousness which is designed by evolution just to see things as form. It's just, we are, it, literally there's neurons developed just to see things as form, to understand shapes, to understand distances, to understand foreground, background, to understand shadow, that means light, that means the light source is here. There's the realm of form. There's a part of our consciousness which is entirely programmed just for form, and we experience reality just as form. Everything is form. Good, bad, everything, form. You know, clean, unclean, form. Then there's the track of the formless. And the formless is nirvana, or, or the, 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 the state of reality as fundamentally seeming to have a form, like an atom. We can look at an atom, it has a form of atom. But when you really look into the form of the atom, it is absolutely it has no form, it's empty, 99.9999 basic, it is, any scientist will tell you, matter is empty at the same time as it's matter. We chant that all the time, we don't even recognize that we're chanting that. It's so, to the Buddhist view, that was 2,500 years ago, that matter has a, a matterness, but that matterness is empty. So that's the track of the form world, the way we perceive and experience things in the level of form, and then we experience things at the level of the formless, and that's when we're meditating, thoughts are coming and thoughts are going. That's a form world happening. But there's this sub, there's this sub, this vastness space that can't be described. That's the formless. Now you've started to see the formless track right on the overlay, and then the subtitle realm is the realm of desire. And the realm of desire is just our, it doesn't just mean desire for sex or desire for food, but it means that, that kind of magnetic attraction that we have to certain thoughts or repulsion. Remember, magnets have attractive properties and magnets can repel also when the pluses are with the pluses of a magnet. So there's this repulsion, so magnets function in that way. So there's this realm of the form that we see, the formless that we can experience and, and, and have a bliss state in, and the level of basic desire, which is just the, we can say, the magnetic charge. Desire has a kind of, especially we who are raised in Christian backgrounds, has this negative valence, but it just means that the, the kind of what Schopenhauer criticized, this blind will, this blind will that goes after or is repelled by things in this constant, constant, even in dream state, even in dream state, to be attracted to someone, oh, I can't sell, I haven't seen you in 20 years, Grandma. Or this repulse, oh, that jerk, I'm, I, I can get away. That it's even operating, we can see in dreams. So when they talk about in the three worlds, all Buddhas depend on, we chant it so often, but it means in the total span of reality, we think Buddha's like, oh, in India, 
or Buddhas like, oh, human Buddhas, oh, Buddhas in the Dharma room, oh, Buddhas in Buddhism. But it's saying, no, in every dimension of reality that can be possible, down to the subtop, all Buddhas, which means awareness. Buddhas don't mean people sitting with an Indian golden face with cross-legged. It means all consci- it means all awareness. When you hear that in the three worlds all Buddhas depend on, it means in the worlds of form, formlessness, and the, 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 the magnetic movement of just mental energy, all awareness depends on meditation. <laughs> Prajnaparamita. So that's what the three worlds is. The form, the formless, and the realm of that magnetic, that's constantly moving, desire. Okay. But not in the Christian sense of it. Um, okay, first of all, about the three worlds of past, present, and future. Every dimension has past, present, and future. So this, like, um, uh, form, we, form. oh, I, no, I saw him yesterday. He was wearing green pants. No, he wasn't wearing green. Your, your, your form world and my form world are not, so there's a past form world, but right now I hold up five fingers. How many do you see? You see five, you see five, you see five. So there's an experience of, like, I could do this and then three years, or let's say we do, five is easier to remember. Let's say we do like, you put up a couple of fingers like this, and then we all meet again in 10 years. And someone goes like the form, the form that we all saw, the form world that we're experiencing now, in 10 years, it's different for each one of us. So the, the three worlds of past, present, and future talk about everything that is perceived in the past, everything that is perceived in the present, and everything that is not perceived He's going to come at five. No, 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 no. He's not going to. He's always late. No, no, no. I know he's going to come at five because I told him five o'clock he can't. We all have a different view of, the, of experience in the three worlds of past, present, and future. So that's why it's divided up. Perception of the past, perception of the present, perception of the future are all, this is this, again, this overlay, exactly, it's great that you pointed out that there's the primary one when they say three worlds is form, formless, and desire. desire. And then they do deeper analysis as of the form of the past, the formlessness of the past, the desire of the past. Everyone who starts a relationship and is in the present of the relationship and the future relationship can see that. And, and then we also have our insight in the present, this moment of that. Ah! Yeah, all of our form or formless and desire, all of those connect at the same point right now, but future, he will yell in five minutes. How will you, we all have a different experience already of that. So it's a deeper analysis of that form, formless desire. Now going further into the emptiness of it, because he did this. No, 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 no. He, he had two fingers up, I remember, because I always remember he does two on that exam. No, 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 it was three. I'm, I, I remember it was three. I even wrote it down. They diverge. So it's showing the unreality of experience as a fixed something that has eternal, self-existent reality. We know from our experience they have diverged in the past when we've had conversations we know that they, therefore, it's just insight into that. But when they basically say it, it's form, formless, and desire. Okay.